Welcome back guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and upload your files using FileZilla and basically this tutorial is for anyone out there who has bought a Minecraft server over at redstonemachines.com or any other server host for that matter and they want to start managing their own server. Maybe they want to back up the world they've created or just upload a new world like an adventure map or something cool. Maybe they want to upload some new plugins edit the plugins, upload some mods, who knows, there's a million possible things to do with this FileZilla program and that's what I'm going to show you today. So the first step is of course to download FileZilla. As you can see on my screen here, I have FileZilla uh, dash project.org slash download and I've got a download button here for Windows right there it says recommended supports basically everything under the Sun so you can go ahead and download it there but if you're looking for a specific version maybe Mac or something who knows you can Google that as well I'm sure you'll find a download link once you've downloaded it you want to just open it up run the installer install it like normal there's no specific options just run the defaults you should be fine and then I've actually already got it installed, as you can see down here on the bottom of my screen. So I'm not going to go into that yet, but I am going to exit this and show you how to connect from scratch. So to connect from scratch, you of course need your login details. And to get them, it is extremely easy if you're with redstonemachines.com. You would have got emailed your details as soon as you paid for the server. So if you bought a server, you would have got sent an email and it would have got added to your account when you log in. Your Multicraft URL and your Multicraft login details, so your name and password. Now you'll need to know these because this is not only the best way to manage your server, but it's also how you would log into FileZilla. So I bought my server from redstonemachines.com. They emailed me my username and password. My username was Redstone. My password was, uh, yeah, I wish, I wish you guys knew that, don't you? <laughs> Click login, bam, we're logged into Multicraft. Also the URL you can find on your account or in the email. Um, other um, Minecraft server hosting companies, they might do it a little bit differently. But basically log in, you'll see here's all the basics, stop, start, restart your server. There's your IP, there's your port, all this general stuff. I'm going to go into this in a different video of how to use Multicraft. For now, we're just using Multicraft to actually get to the files. And also when you make changes with FileZilla, you have to stop and then start your server again to reload the options or type reloading game, depending on what you're editing. If you're uploading a brand new world, you will need to restart the server obviously, but if you're editing things like plugins, you could just get away with a restart or a stop then start. Alright, so we're logged into Multicraft with our details, you want to click on FTP, File Access. You can find that below the Files tab, see that? You just click the drop down box on that and if you don't know how to get here you just click servers and then click on these are all the servers you've bought if you've only bought one there will only be one there you click it files whoops i clicked on players files ftp file access and it tells you your login details right here it cannot be any simpler now what you want to do is open up filezilla which you've already downloaded and installed as you can see i'm already logged on to my server but i'm actually going to bring it down here and log in again so what you'll do you copy this, control C, you would paste it in the host. Now you want to make sure it doesn't have any slash slash HTTP or any bull jumbo magic like that. You just want the IP in there, the IP and the IP only. Now this won't be your IP if you buy this from Redstone Machines. This is some random IP, some scrub server or something like that, who knows. But it's just some random IP. You'll probably have a different one, so make sure to check that. Then you want to get your username from right here, see redstone.105. Copy paste that in, bam, paste it in there, make sure there's nothing else. Use your password that you used in to log into Multicraft. It's, it's the exact same password, see how it says Multicraft password? Whatever you use to log into Multicraft is also what you're going to use to type in here. So it's in your email. Don't forget that guys, same password, so make sure to use that. And then the port is 21, it'll always be 21, as you can see it says port 21, done. Then you just want to click quick connect, you want to click OK, and this is, I'm just exiting the old one, now we're connecting to the new one, it says connected, retrieving directory, directory listing of the base directory is successful. Sweet, so we're logged in on FileZilla, and these are all our server files. 
it basically can't get any simpler than this. I've got a folder on my computer, which I like to keep in, on my desktops for easy access. And what you can do is you can be, okay, I want to download the whitelist. What you do is you click it, you drag it, you drop it onto the folder. It'll say downloading, starting download of whitelist.json. Bam, I now have it downloaded. How easy was that, guys? Done. Whitelist is downloaded. I can right-click that. I can edit it with Notepad or Notepad++. I would also recommend downloading if you're editing a lot of stuff with Notepad. Notepad++ is just like a better version of it. So make sure to download that as well if you want to. You don't need to. You can edit it with Notepad, whatever. And then you just edit it, drag it back on. Uh, see, okay, I'll edit this for example. Edit in Notepad++. Uh, it's on my second screen here, but hang on. I will... Exit all this mumbo jumbo. Here we go. Here it is. Yay! So this is the whitelist we could edit and say let's add Hades MC to this whitelist. Too easy. I don't know. You probably have to put it in between those two things right there. But there we go. Hades MC. Yay! And I could save that. I could exit it. I could drag the whitelist back on here. I don't know if that was correct. Who knows? But I'm just showing you an example. You drag it, edit it, you drag it back. It's uploaded. See? Starting upload of my file from my desktop and it file it was transferred successfully done now for the specific thing I was going to talk about which is a very common question asked how do I back up my world this is how you do it you click on the world you drag it to the folder and you drop it now this world's actually pretty big so I have no idea how long this will take to download because this actually has been worked on a bit by some different people Yep, it's downloading, it's downloading. So the CS stand here, it says queued files 10 and zero transfers have failed and then 18 has been successful. So you just wait till this 9 gets down to zero and this gets all the way up and bam, now your world is downloaded, it's backed up, you can store that on a USB, you can upload it to the cloud, your Google Drive, you can do whatever you want with it, that is now backed up. Exact same thing with plugins. You want to go to the plugins folder, double click that, just say you downloaded World Edit. You would drag World Edit in here and it would upload the file. And there it is right there. As you can see, there's already some plugins on here because this has been a test server for a while. You can drag plugins on, you can drag plugins off. You can even edit the configs by going into the folder for World Edit. Then you just drag off the config. Bam, it's downloading that as well. It'll put it in queue, of course, because I am downloading the world. So I'll actually wait a second and wait till it finishes downloading the world because it says there's only three files left. And then bam. See how it was in queue? It downloaded the config from World Edit as well. So we're going to go, okay, I don't, I don't like World Edit that much. I want to, what do I want to do? I want to change the wand from a wooden axe to something else. I could edit that, save the config, and then re-upload it. As simple as that. You just click save, you exit, you drag, and you drop, and it re-uploads it back to the server. Hopefully that answered all of your questions, guys. Just keep in mind... It will take a bit of mucking around to learn your way around the files, but just something real simple, I'll just go over it. These are the configs in the folder. These are the jars. You need to download the jar, restart the server for these folders to be generated. When you run the plugin on the server, it generates these folders. So if you uploaded a plugin and you can't see the folder there, you've got to stop and start your server. You can also click the refresh button up here, which is the blue arrow going right and the green one going left, and that'll refresh it to see if you did go back to Multicraft, you went back, you like stopped your server and you, and you started it back up and some new config files generated. Then you'd have to click refresh on FileZilla to see the files here because otherwise they wouldn't be there. And of course going back, there's your jar file that you can upload, whitelist, there's tons of options, bucket YML to change a bunch of good configuration like view distance, all your world's plugins. That's it. I told you guys everything there is to know. You guys are now experts in editing your own Minecraft servers. Please make sure to head over to redstonemachines.com if you want to buy your own Minecraft server because I've been smashing out the tutorials for all the customers over there recently. I've been teaching you how to download your world, how to download your plugins, upload new plugins. I've taught you tutorials on plugins. I recently, the last one I did was a World Guard tutorial, so make sure to check that out. I also taught you how to change this IP and this port into a sweet looking domain name like hub.hadescraft.com or like mc.bestminecraftserverintheworld.com or .net or whatever you want. I taught you how to do that. It's under 10 bucks. You just got to pay for the domain, of course. 
and basically everything else was free. That is also on my channel, so make sure to check out that. Check out all my other videos, subscribe, chuck the video a like if you enjoyed this tutorial, and check out all the links in the description, and I will include everything in the description basically, so you could have just read the description and not actually watched this video. I'm talking way too quick now, I'll see you guys next time, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Peace! Thank <laughs> you.